Kansas City. Today we're helping you freshen up your makeup for spring. We're also going to help you with spring cleaning and plan the perfect spring break staycation. But first, we're kicking things off here in the Price Chopper Kitchen with Sean Brady from Brady's Public House. And you're showing us how to make two different kinds of soda bread, stuff that you grew up eating in Ireland. Yeah, so we're going to start off the first morning with uh, our brown soda bread, which has Guinness buttermilk, whole wheat flour, and all-purpose flour. Is the Guinness what makes it brown? No, it's the wheat flour, but the Guinness gives it like, lots of flavor. I bet it gives it a kick. I'm sure you can't go wrong putting Guinness in a little bit of everything. Is that pretty common? And like we add beer to bratwurst and we cook things well, in the it Midwest. Is a, it is chili. a Brady's. Like Guinness is it? Yeah. yeah, it is definitely a Brady's. We have a lot of fun cooking with lots of different alcohol. So, uh, and the different breads. So there's usually two different ones. There's the wheat soda bread, and then there's the raisin soda bread. And it just depends on which part of Ireland you're from and which one you grew up with. Do you serve the brown soda bread at Brady's, or is we this do. your own home? We serve recipe. the brown soda bread at Brady's. So what are you putting in there? So I just put a tablespoon of baking soda. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of salt, and then we're just gonna mix it all up. And these are some of these breads. I'm not a big fan of making them in kitchen aids or in mixers. Why? I'm, I just prefer to make them by hand. I think it stops you from over kneading them. So then in here I got an egg and some buttermilk. I'm gonna whisk it up, add it in there. Why is it important to not over knead the brown because you're soda bread? Because you're bringing all the, all the gluten out in the flour. And once you bring out all the gluten, what happens is it just makes it more stringy and a little bit more rubbery. So I find the least amount of work you do with it, uh -huh. the better Whoops. quality bread you're gonna get. What do you think makes Irish bread most unique? Um, I think it's definitely like because the Irish breads are uh, generally always soda bread. Mm -hmm. So it's the baking soda that's going to make it more unique. How um, long will this last? This bread will be good if you refrigerate it. It should last at least a week in your refrigerator. Um, if you leave it out, you're looking at about three or four days. Okay. But so, no, I mean, nothing ever lasts that long when it tastes this good. Yeah, exactly. Once it's one of these breads, once you take it out of the oven, um, cut into it and it's steaming opened it's not going to last very long. And then, as I say, with the liquid, I always add a little bit at a time because... How much Guinness year, do you put in there? There's going to be anywhere from a cup to a cup and a half. It just depends. And this is one of the breads that it can be a pretty wet mix um, just because I don't like a very dry breads. So see there, you just, I'm just kind of bringing it all together. Now, Sean, how long have you been in Kansas City, and how often do you get back to Ireland? I've been in Kansas City now going on just about six years. And I was back home last June, and I think that was my first time home in about five years. What are some of your favorite memories of growing up Definitely in Ireland? Been, what part of Ireland did you grow up in? I grew up in a small town in Tipperary called Nina. Uh -huh. So um, one of my favorite, again, growing up with my grandma, she lived out in the country, and she had this stove that it never went out. It was always lit. And it was a wood-fired stove, and the breads that came out of that oven must have been incredible. were unbelievable. And I was lucky enough to get some recipes, like this is her scone recipe. And I've had- Those scones smelled so good. You took them out of the oven yeah. about 30 seconds before we went on air. Yeah. And everyone started just drooling in that's the audience. Get, that's how we get people going. That is a beautiful sight right there. Also though, there's a, I believe your cookbook is open to a picture of your mom it's here. A, it's not a yeah. cookbook. It's a book of paintings that was uh -huh. done by an American artist in the 70s. And he went around Ireland and the title of the painting is called Man on a Cart. And it just happens to have my mom's house where I grew up and where oh, my mom that's still house lives. Where you, really? Um, in the background. So we're lucky enough to have an old picture of my mom's house. So at any given time you go to Brady's Irish Pub, you will get the brown soda bread, you'll see the scones, and then what's that delicious looking dessert so on the far we, end? We are a from scratch kitchen and we make everything in house um, as much as we possibly can. Um, so all our desserts are all made in house, and I've got a great my sous chef Graham Farris who helps me out, and he does 99% uh -huh. of all the desserts. And he came up with this one. It's a car.